when I die, I will tell my ancestors, especially my father and mother of the nice house and star green cash you have showed on me. The response will be, you have really enjoyed before coming. These were the words of Dari Pogo after official, officials of War Branch of Fidelity Bank opened an account for her. The opening of the account was necessitated by the sea of nominations following the hotline documentary by Seth Kwan Boateng on the squalid life of the 80-year-old leper who lost all 10 fingers as a result of leprosy. Joining News' Upper West correspondent Rafiq Salam was at uh, Montori to witness the event and here is his report. Several donations have poured in ever since the story of 80-year-old leper that report was aired on Joy News on a hotline documentary titled with a skin by Sef Kwame Boaton. Darpo contracted leprosy at a tender age and as a result lost all ten fingers and all toes except the two big ones. The monetary donations made to the 80 year old through Joy News and Sef Kwame Boaton is so colossal to be handed over to her living in an outlandish community like Motori. They then decided to open an account with a war branch of Fidelity Bank to enable her receive some monthly stipends. Officials of the bank rolled into the Motoru community to open the bank account for her. War branch manager of Fidelity Bank, Maui Asani, spoke through an interpreter on what is required. The first requirement asked for was a voter ID card, and she presented both the old and the new one. The idea is that every month, if we complete everything, your account is with you, we will also get an agent in this community, in your old community, that every month you can go for a particular amount to be specified uh, later to you that this is the amount uh, on monthly basis you can go to the agent and take, so that you don't have to travel from here to uh, looking at the distance and looking at your condition. There, sh there will be an agent here to serve you so that on a monthly basis you have something for your own upkeep, just to make sure that uh, the support is something that is sustainable for a longer uh, period as much as possible. Wobbling with only two of her big toes and with her two fingerless arms strapped at her back with a heart loaded with prayer, she thanked all the people who supported her since the story was aired. Her life has changed tremendously. Starting with the donation of food items and a cash amount of 2,000 Ghana cities from Vice President Dr. Aladi Mahmoud Baumia, coupled with the construction of a two-bedroom house which has been roofed and windows almost fixed, she says she has a story to tell her ancestors when she's called by her maker. I never expected money as sweet as this. Every day, I struggle to survive. Now I don't only have money, but a house that I can call my own. When I die, I will tell my ancestors of what you have done for me. They will be happy that I really enjoyed before coming. The clothes I'm wearing, my mother didn't have. She was virtually naked before she died. It is not only Darapo who is excited about the new building right in this community. One of her sons, Kuntron Kujadu, is overexcited that at long last she's going to have a room of his own. Kuntron Kujadu. Since his birth, some 50 years ago, has been staying with the mother. He was born with hydrocephalus and as a result has made his speech to be slurred. He was over the moon and pointed his hand to the sky to thank God for their newfound life. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam, Motori.